So, do you want to fix a car like this one? Well, it's your lucky day! All the theory and testing behind this tutorial was created by a friend of mine called the Loud Trout. It's incredibly simple to do, and since he was able to figure it out, I bet you can figure it out as well. Here we go! Alright, the first thing you want to do is spawn your car. Then you want to place it up in the air like this. Then you want to make sure everything is frozen, and I do mean everything. So you want to find a tool that will be able to freeze the car. I'll use freeze all for this. You just want to press it somewhere on the chassis. Like that. If you are doing this to a car that already has ball sockets, then you want to remove these ball sockets first. You do that by going into the advanced ball socket tool. The settings don't matter yet. And then you want to press R on each and every wheel. Like that. Now, since my previous chassis tutorial, a lot has happened. That means we'll have to readjust the weights for 2016. Do that by going into the spawn menu, pressing weight, and changing the weight to 80. This will be the new set, this will be the new weight for the wheels. You then just want to press on the wheels, left click. This adjusts the weight of the wheels. You also want to make sure that you've applied make spherical to the wheels. If the wheel has a large uh, square around it using the smart snap tool, you'll be able to make sure that the wheels are make spherical indeed. We also want to change the weight of the chassis. You do that by going into the spawn menu again, pressing weight, and entering 250. Then you want to left click on the base plate. This makes the weight 250. This uh, makes wheel spas happen just a bit less often. Now comes the most important part of the tutorial. You want to go into the spawn menu, find advanced ball socket again, and enter the suspension settings from my previous tutorial. The settings can be seen right here at the side of your screen. Now comes the very, very important part. And that's the logic behind this entire tutorial. You want to do this systematically. This means every ball socket using the normal settings will be constrained from the chassis to the wheels. I'll repeat that. From the chassis to the wheels, not the other way around. This is very important. So, for the front wheels, we have a steering master, which is over here. This means, make sure you have the tool out. Then you want to left click on the steering master and left click on the wheel. Do that for both sides of your front wheels, there we go. You also want to do this for the rear wheels, but obviously this will be from the chassis instead of the steering master. So from the chassis to the rear wheel, and from the chassis again to the other rear wheel. Like that. And now for the party trick. You want to go into the advanced ball socket tool again, and you want to reverse every single setting that has 0 0.1 in it. So, going into the uh, menu, you'll reverse minus 0 0.1 to 0 0.1, 0 0.1 to minus 0 0.1, and so on. Like that. Then you want to go the other way around. This means you'll ball socket from the wheels to the chassis, and not the other way around. So, from the uh, front wheel here, we'll apply a ball socket from the left front wheel to the steering master. And from the right front wheel to the steering master. We'll do the same for the rear wheels, but again, from the uh, wheel to chassis, instead of the steering master. So, wheel to chassis, and wheel to chassis. This is so the ball sockets don't override themselves. And that's all it takes to fix your chassis. Here's a demonstration between the new ball sockets and the old one.
If you liked the video, then do subscribe. I have more videos coming in the future. You can also watch my previous tutorial on how to build a chassis.